Hi, Tim Horschler, New Voyager Trading with another issue of Tim Talks. Uh, been getting a lot of requests. It's perhaps the hottest item on the internet. Tim, would you please talk about ratios? I know, uh, yawn. Uh, why would I need to know about ratios? Uh, I, I'm a spinner. I, I make yarn. Um, don't bore me with the facts. And there are a lot of spinners that the uh, ratios are just not an important consideration as they spin yarn. Uh, but understanding ratios, uh, you'll, you'll be able to be a, a more efficient spinner in what you're doing. Uh, you'll have better yarn production. You'll be able to take advantage of your wheel uh, better. We think that you might enjoy spinning more if you understand uh, the r relationship of ratios and speeds and how it affects the, the yarn that you produce. Uh, we think the quality of the yarn that you make perhaps will be better if you understand uh, speeds, ratios, and how they come into play and what you're doing. Uh, think of this. A spinning wheel is a mechanical device. Goes back to Leonardo da Vinci and his concept of an automatic flyer over here and a drive wheel and changing what they've been working with uh, with a drop spindle or a spindle type wheel where one rotation produces one turn of the drop spindle, a ratio of one to one. Um, you can make yarn with a drop spindle, but your, your, your production rate is not going to be great. Uh, it's a, a time-consuming process, uh, and when, when people started thinking about better ways to uh, produce yarn, uh, this is what we ended up with, a spinning wheel. A spinning wheel with ratios that uh, improved the, the efficiency and production of yarn. Um, if you think about those folks that were spinning two or three hundred years ago for their clothing, uh, this took a lot of time. And if they could be more efficient, if they could make the same amount of yarn in half the time, they just freed up a heck of a lot of time for themselves. So ratios are a real uh, mechanical advantage that spinners want to take advantage of and understand. But I've been doing this for 30 years, and I can tell you, there are spinners out there that I'm spinning just as long as that. And they don't understand ratios and they don't care to understand ratios. They're what I call a happy spinner. And we need more happy spinners in the world. Uh, you can sit down and make yarn and not be concerned about these factors that come into play with the mechanical abilities of your spinning wheel. And that's okay, I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh, we need more happy spinners. But I think I can take that happy spinner and make them happier. And if you're a new spinner, you're considering buying a spinning wheel, you someone's given you a wheel and you don't even know if it has ratios or speeds on it, uh, this section here is going to help you understand ratios, how they come into play, and what they mean for, for yarn production. What is a ratio? A ratio is simply a comparison of one like thing to another, apples to apples. Uh, in the case of a spinning wheel, We've got these round things here, a wheel, a drive wheel, and we have these round things over here. These are whirls or pulleys, and we're comparing the number of turns of the large wheel with the number of turns at the flyer over here. If this wheel turns one time and your flyer rotates one time, you have a ratio of one to one. Generally, spinning wheels don't have that. They have ratios of 5 to 1, 10 to 1, 15 to 1, 20 to 1, or more, all right? Uh, you determine the ratios by simply marking your wheel, marking your flyer, and turning that wheel by hand one time, and over here at the flyer, count the number of revolutions it makes. If you've got one setting over here that produces 10 revolutions of the flyer, you have a ratio of 10 to 1. If you change the speed over here at the flyer and you, it results in uh, 20 revolutions of the flyer, you've got a wheel that just changed, doubled its speed. You're getting the same, um, uh, you're getting twice as much uh, rotation of your flyer with 
the same one rotation of your wheel. And that ability to go from one ratio to the other, to increase the speed, to decrease the speed based upon the fibers that you have is, is really important for you. One turn of the flyer over here results in one complete twist of the fibers that you're manipulating in your hand. The more twist you have, the stronger the resulting yarn will be. Some yarns require three, four, five twists to be strong enough. Uh, other yarn might require 10, 12, 14 revolutions to make it strong enough. If it's real thin, the fiber's short and slippery, you're gonna need that extra twist. And as you're sitting here as a happy spinner, um, you want to have that twist develop over here automatically. I mean, it will do it automatically, but you want that extra speed or that lower speed to simply automatically happen by treadling at the same rate. You're gonna change the gears, just like you will in a car or a bicycle, perhaps, is a better example. You, you see those sprockets down there and your chain goes from one to the other and it makes the bicycle treadling easier or, or harder. If you're going downhill, uphill, uh, your conditions change. Same with the spinning wheel. Your conditions change, the yarns, the fibers that you're doing, you need to be able to adjust that fiber. The idea as a at the treadle is to have a comfortable treadling cadence that you use pretty much all the time. And you simply, with the change of the drive bands over here, change your, your speeds.